So, you got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? A and A, artichokes and avocado flavor, and zucchini for good measure. Ooh, fancy. So, I'll see you come evening. You gonna tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips, turn dolls into fighters. Sounds like my kind of plan. We'll go over the specifics tonight. You're coming, right? I got of course it. I'll be there. When? All right. Oh, shit, not good. Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey. Nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza, and then we're out of here, okay? Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. I feel like such a gonk now. Come here, cause you want payback for what happened to her? That's for sure. But I just want to have a normal job, too. No fears, no tears, you know? You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So, what's this plan all about? I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present. And, uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You could murder someone and not remember a thing. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There's split-second processes that happen 
logistics, decision making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. How'd you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds, Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles him. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! <clears throat> what the? You there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Nice work, Judy. <laughs> Gotta do some cardio. I'll kill yourself. If you were to sell that, <laughs> you'd be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro nuked. You got something to say. Just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. <laughs> happy now. I'm rarely happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses will give an ultimatum, a cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again, and having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought, a half-baked insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Hole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two pronged assault. Loving it. <laughs> yeah, plan just might work. Michael, I take it you're on board too. Wouldn't be wasting my time here if I wasn't. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously. Rather not have to flatline anyone. What he said. Hope is it won't be necessary. Overpower Hiromi. Humiliate him. Should be enough. Bosses will put him out of the game. Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. 
Save the gratitude for later, please. Ugh. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy? For real? No, don't want to hear it. But uh, be, be, be. Not a word. Uh, v, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna clep. <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Hmm, huh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. Then I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. That all you have to say? And she's nice. Six out of ten. I will. See you then. Tom, how'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. 
Just imagine you're doing what a doll does, just a different program. You're great at that. So glad you came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. Remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. You got no time to deliberate, weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up for even a second. Could cost you your life. You got it? And Maiko? Where's she? Meeting with Hiromi, to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. All right, we going in? Let's do this. such as five paid vacation days a year, unlimited access to stimulant pharmaceuticals, and implant acquisition assistance. You two head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. also been promised a retirement package. Stay sharp. Pangoons might be lurking. CPD welcomes a boost to its support. As of today, the police may detain criminal suspects for up to all years without Got a jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? Why does everything here always have to go to shit? I'm getting sick of this. I'm a soldier, not a fucking handyman. What then? Everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. You're not coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. Besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. You gonna breach security? Get me in the penthouse? Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. You gotta manage on your own. Okay, on my way. Elevator's on the other side. Be safe. How's the sitch? We're inside the clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. 
We're all set. to the balcony. Careful, though, okay? On my mark. Go! I'll be late. I told you, I have shit tons of work. No, don't wait up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway. surveillance cam in front of the security room. We're here, finally. I was beginning to think you wouldn't make it. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. She tries too hard. Didn't want to trip any alarms. Had to come through quietly. Fast forward a year. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target, Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. The lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on my face. I know face. the clause. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? All right, I'll do what I can. Jack him out. Well, she is no Parker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. 
And now he's invaded Mr. Sado's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sado's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds need new Judy. management. Judy. I can't focus. Am I to understand that this What's future manager on? stands She's before me now, us. speaking with such zeal? With your permission. Over my dead body, we were gonna Stop get rid of him. Am I to understand these as your conditions? V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. Oh, fuck you myself! What might that be? They'll have their revenge. You've turned clouds into a ticking time bomb. It's not your problem anymore. It's just let it go and get out. Maybe I will, but not before I paint the walls with your blood. All right, V, get out of there. Exit's on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. They weren't followed. Get down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. You... You killed her? Oh my fucking god. You killed her. Wouldn't have happened if she hadn't come at me. It wasn't my fault. Sorry, but I don't buy that. Could have found another way. Michael knew what she was starting, what she was doing. She knew it could all come crashing down. Thought she was untouchable all her life. Well, it's not my fault she was wrong. I, uh, I gotta process all this in peace. Where were you? Alone. Be seeing you, V. See you, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> 